Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Smeralda and you are watching Albo Plants. In this video I wanted to share with you some plant updates, so without further ado, let's switch the camera and let me show you some new growth. So let's start with one of my most favorite plants and I know that I have shown this a lot, but this is my Philodendron Gloriosum Verde. And I want to show you the newest leaf that it has put out, which, as always, it is bigger than the last one, and veinier, and pillowy. This plant always surprises me with the newest growth and new leaves. It gets better and better each time and it has already created like a new growth it is working on the newest leaf and it is slowly going to the edge of the pot and after one or two leaves I will need to unpot her and chop propagate so I can make also a video and share it with you so yeah this is my Philodendron Gloriosum and the newest leaf. Next I want to show you the orchids that I have on my table. These are Phalaenopsis orchids and they are in full bloom now. So they look so so nice. I like to have orchids in bloom in my studio because they give me like this very nice beautiful uh, and warm feeling with the uh, beautiful flowers. This is the Odorion. You can see the leaves that has a pattern. I'm sorry if you can hear a dog on the background, but it is the dog of our neighbors and he is always, always making these noises. Yeah, sorry for that. But yeah, as I was saying, this is my Phalaenopsis odorium and I have close to that my Phalaenopsis shantion, which is also in full bloom and I wanted to share with you the beautiful blooms before they dry out and fall. And this orchid also has a little speckles on the leaves. It has this silver shine, silver sheen color and the little speckles. So yeah, both of these orchids are stunning because they have beautiful flowers with mottled leaves and also they have a very nice scent to them, fragrance and it fills out the room from time to time but it is so nice. I also paired this orchid with one of my newest handmade pots. I sculpted and painted it by myself. It still isn't 100% finished because I need to put a top coat but nonetheless I'm keeping the orchids there because it looks so nice. Another update that I want to share with you is this pot with variegated string of hearts that I propagated and I potted it, them together with you on one of my videos and it is growing so well. I think that in the spring this is going to become a very nice pot. So I had to pull this out from its pot because I couldn't show it to you but this is my Philodendron Melanochrysum and I want to show you the newest leaf on the third vine and you can see the beautiful color that the Melanochrysum leaves has at the beginning this golden golden brown color it is stunning I love it very much and this is still very new it's soft so it's going to expand a little bit more and I also want to show you this is the latest leaf on one of the bigger vines it is sizing up very nicely. This vine actually snapped one leaf. I couldn't save it, you know, the melanochrysum thing, the Cinderella shoe. 
and yeah it snapped the leaf but this is the next one and it is now wait it's in here it is now already pushing out the other leaf and as you can see it gets a little bit stuck so I need to help it from time to time with some water and a brush the biggest vine is this here and this is the latest leaf that it has produced in that vine and I'm so happy with the sizing and it is maturing very nicely and this leaf it only just unfurled it's still a little bit soft and it is already working on the new leaf so yeah this plant is actually growing so well for me not right now even though it's winter and temperature has dropped so yeah this is my philodendron melanocrysum in here i have my alocasia dragon scale and as you can see it has struggled a little bit on some of the leaves but it has pushed out this new leaves new leaf right here and it is also pushing out the newest one which is still unfurling so yeah it's a slow grower but stunning plant so it's worth it on my main shelf right here I want to show you this other variegated string of hearts that I have and this one are the strings that I saved from my beautiful big string of hearts that yeah it declined at the end of the summer I also made a video on the plants that I managed to kill this summer but yeah I think it dried out too much and when I went and watered it the roots rotted and these were all the vines that I managed to save from that plant and as you can see yeah I think I saved them because they are growing so well they are pushing out new hearts and getting long I think I will have two beautiful pots in the next spring with variegated string of hearts in here I also have my alocasia black velvet and I want to show you the newest leaf that it is pushing out so yeah my alocasia black velvet is one of my favorite alocasias ever again a slow grower but yeah I managed to put in this pot a lot of bulbs so it looks fuller and it is pushing out new leaves this is the newest one that it just unfurled it's still very soft and it's also pushing out another one yeah stunning so in this room I want to show you my micans propagation which they are very slow to start growing but as you can see it is already producing the vines and I have another micans propagations going on some cuttings in water and I want to make other pots with micans because I do really love this plant and I want to Add them in other spaces in my home. Here is my philodendron sodiroi that I unboxed from plants.com. I have a video and it finally has pushed out a new leaf under my care and as you can see it's still soft. It is attaching very well to the moss pole and I'm so excited to see how it's going to develop. It is a very nice plant, but I think that I will see the full potential when it pushes out a couple of leaves and it starts to really climb up the moss pole. I have one of my clarinerviums here. This is the big one, which is producing huge leaves and I cut the inflows because I want it to produce more and more big leaves. I want to show you that this is the latest leaf that it has produced but as you can see it is ripped. 
Yeah, I am the culprit. I ripped the leaf, but in my defense, it wasn't coming out. It was like distorted so much that I thought that it was going to snap itself. So I needed to help it come out and yeah, it ripped. Because Anthurium leaves, when they are small, they are very, very delicate. But better to have a ripped new leaf than not new leaf at all, you know. Here are the propagations of my philodendron lemon lime. And <laughs> I am obsessed with this new pot because it is super cute. And as you can see, all the lighter colored leaves are all new growth. So it means that this propagation has taken off very well and yeah, I wanted also another pot of this philodendron because I moved the big one in a darker spot and I didn't want to um, risk and risk not having a vibrant philodendron lemon lime. So I propagated it and now as you can see I have this other one as a backup. In here is this Alocasia Lauterbachiana, which it's growing very well. This was a small bulb that I saved from a plant that I bought in a shop that rotted. This was the only bulb that survived. It was tiny and it needed a lot of time to grow. But as you can see now, it is growing pretty well. Here, this is a very small propagation of Anthurium clarinervium. This is a propagation made from stem cutting. And as you can see, it has produced three leaves. The latest leaf has got more veins coming through. And it is super adorable. I love it very much. Super cute plant. Clarinerviums are one of my most favorite anthuriums because they are so easy in my care or in my environment, like they grow so well. In here I have my beautiful Monstera Albo, which I'm obsessed. It's one of my most favorite plants that I own and I want to show you the newest leaves that it has produced which has got second fenestrations and very very nice variegation as you can see I am obsessed with this plant and this new leaf is gorgeous and it's still growing out it's still very very soft and as you can see it has a little bit of a lighter color so yeah it needs a little bit more time to fully uh, mature but it's looking like so beautiful and the stem is super variegated as well so i am so so happy with this plant here I want to show you another propagation that I took from my Maranta, variegated Maranta. And this used to have very small leaves, but as you can see lately, it is producing these very nice large leaves with nice variegation. And they have a little bit of that reddish color when they come out. They are so stunning. This planter is becoming so bushy and full. I like it so, so much. I feel like Marantas actually need more light than people usually think. And this one is in a better spot than the mother plant. And the mother plant is not as happy as this one, let me tell you. So in here I have my orchids and these are the ones that are not in bloom but as you can see they are producing roots and also new flower stems or how is it called? New flower spikes, yes. This particular orchid actually had a problem because all the roots rotted and that's why I have put it her in sphagnum moss and it is working very well so the orchid seems like it's getting better it's producing very nice new roots and as you can see it has produced also a flower spike so it's going to bloom 
on the spring. There are also others. I want to show you some other ones that I have in here. This is another one. As you can see, it is producing a flower spike from the bottom. This is the oldest flower spike that I cut and I left it like that because it's still green and it can produce branches. But this is a brand new flower spike. And it is also growing new roots, so it means that the orchid is happy. I wanted to show you this one, which is growing like a beast. You see this very long leaf and it is producing a new leaf now. As you can see, this was, this was the oldest flower spike that it had and I cut it in here which was the last note that it didn't have flowers and as you can see it is producing a new shoot in here which is going to be a new flower spike and it is also pushing out this new flower spike from the bottom. All these nodes on the old flower spike are potential for new growth and look at the roots on this one. They are going wild. I also wanted to share with you this other one because this orchid is so happy. This is the newest leaf. This orchid, it is pushing out new flower spikes everywhere. One, two, three in here. And as you can see, it is trying to branch out already. So yeah, this orchid is going to be fabulous when all the shoots grow and uh, flower. And the last orchid that I want to share with you is this one, which as you can see has produced new leaves. It is pushing out new roots, but in the old flower spike you can see that it is also pushing out a new shoot that are going to be with flowers. But the most exciting part is this other uh, stem or old flower spike which is producing a keiki. A keiki is a baby Phalaenopsis orchid and they grow on flower spikes or at the base of the orchid and this one is growing fl from the old flower spike. And this is the first time that this happens to me so it's quite exciting. I am so thrilled to see how it's going to develop and as you can see it is so cute and interesting looking. There are also some plant updates that I want to share with you on my balcony very quickly. The first one is my staghorn fern, which as you can see it is producing the new frontal fronts, base fronts, shields and also new growth as well. I love this plant, it's so unique. And in here I have my mounted Phalaenopsis orchid, the mini mark. And as you can see in here it is producing flower spikes on both sides. So it shows me that it is quite happy and I was a little bit nervous at the beginning when I mounted this orchid but as you can see it is doing so well. I also want to show you my smallest Christmas cactus. The big one actually had a problem during the summer and I am saving it now. But this is the smaller one and this has like red, corally pinkish, like hot red flowers. And as you can see it is in bloom now. Which yeah, Christmas cactus or I don't know, this is Thanksgiving maybe. Cactus has got very, very beautiful 
flowers, so it's always a pleasure to see it flower during this period. And also I want to share with you my peperomia, watermelon peperomia, which is very slow growing for me because actually I propagated this plant with only one leaf and as you can see it is pushing out new growth and it looks like it is becoming a little bit faster at growing but yeah let's hope it's going to have a burst even though now it's winter so maybe I shouldn't be so hyped about this plant growing but yeah I, I always hope that my plants grow well so yeah so I hope you found this video interesting as always don't forget to like share leave a comment down below which one was your favorite or which one spoke to you the most from the plants that I showed and of course don't forget to check out my instagram page albo underscore underscore plants and if you are not please consider subscribing to my channel because i'm uploading like every week a new video or sometimes i can upload even two videos per week so thank you very much again for watching i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you on the next